Welcome to Awakening You channel. We hope you found something here that sparked your interest and assists you in your awakening journey. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dearest Light Worker family, I have just returned from my trip to the United States of America, where I was a presenter at the World Congress of Illumination in Tucson, Arizona. At the conference I did a channel with Archangel Michael, in which he mentioned that the changes would unfold at a very fast pace, since we had now anchored the fifth dimensional grids and opened our hearts to being available to assist all humanity to make the shift into fifth dimensional awareness. Rapid change is often unsettling and can be stressful, but only because it seems to be too rapid and therefore threatening. Remember that you have agreed on the higher level to be part of the change, and that the changes are to bring in light, love, joy and abundance. If you enter into the changes with fear, this will create resistance or distortion in your field of manifestation, and you will indeed create what you fear. In the fifth dimension, wherever you place your energy, that is what you create. Now, I mention this, because what I experienced from some people in the USA, and I have seen in some channels, is fear. And this is also in divine order for the rapid change experience moves you beyond the illusory fear that is generated by the mind into a place of total and complete trust and surrender to divine will. You cannot control or manage the shifts from your mind, you need to be totally in your heart and totally prepared to respond to what comes up in faith and trust from your heart. Now, the reason why I say this, is because when I went to the USA I knew that I went there for a reason, and that there would be an exchange of gifts. So let me explain the gift from Africa. I will start by reminding you that I have told you that I have not been sick for years. When I came back from the USA I was sick, with a chest cold. I knew that it was because I had moved into a low vibrating energy that I had already cleared, and that my gift was to assist in some small way to help others in this energy to move into trust. In Africa, in South Africa, we have already moved through the survival energy crisis into trust, well a sufficient number of us so that we have learned to be in trust. It is not good to trust money, and to try to hoard cash. It is, after all, just pieces of paper. In Zimbabwe, the inflation rate has become so huge that it shows quite clearly that the money system is nothing more than a manipulated illusion that has tragic consequences for those who hold on to it and trust in it. I remember when I went through an intense period of survival anxiety, I hoarded tinned foods and dried pulses. All that happened was that I had too many tins of baked beans, and I don't particularly like baked beans. I was okay, most of us were. The lesson was trust. What you need will be provided, often in wonderful and miraculous ways, if you do not panic and start creating from your fears. Remember this is the fifth dimension, and where your energy goes, so you create. You have all been taking lessons in manifestation, and this might be your graduate experience. Can you hold your center and be in complete trust? Can you hold the light and know that the light will hold you? Can you know that the time of suffering and lack is past, and that you do not have to create these things anymore? The answer is the open heart and complete trust. I will explain this by explaining the gift that was given to me. Now, in Africa we have pretty much worked ourselves past the survival fear by going into our hearts and working as a community. We support each other, and we know that if we make our needs known, the someone will support us, not with money, but with what they have. People who are very poor will share their last piece of bread with those who do not have, so that all are fed and all are taken care of. It is this love that creates the miracles of survival in Africa. But, Africans lack confidence in their abilities. They often do not have the access to education and opportunities that people in the developed world take for granted. Now, how this affected me was that when went to the USA, I was anxious about how I would cope and how I would do. I remember standing on the stage in the first presentation and going into an absolute panic and just wanting to run away. And the voice of Archangel Michael said to me, Keep your heart open. 
and that became a silent mantra that carried me through. But, I received such an outpouring of love and support from people, that I understood that I needed to learn that being confident about yourself and your abilities, which comes so naturally to most Americans, was a way of keeping your heart open to yourself and empowering yourself. And beyond survival is self-empowerment. So, I would like to think that there was an exchange of gifts and energies that was beneficial for both sides, and that this energy will go out as light to all light workers and help them to balance personal power with community love and energy, so that we can all accelerate our shift into the fifth dimension and celebrate. The time for suffering is over. What I loved about the World Congress of Illumination, was how much creative joy there was, and how this was expressed in music, singing and dancing. This was surely a light worker celebration of the fifth dimension, where everyone present gave their energy to create a field of love and peace and joy. This was a model for how everyone can move into the fifth dimension. Open your heart, create from a place of love and gratitude. And celebrate. These are the changes we have worked for. And now is the time. So, in conclusion, let me offer a few manifestation skills, given by Archangel Michael, to assist you into the fifth dimension consciousness grids with ease and grace. Firstly, as we have mentioned, be in love and trust. Know that whatever happens will be in divine order, and that you can move into the fifth dimension with ease and grace. I remember a song that Armand and Angelina sang at the Congress about the old energy and the new, and how to cope with disaster consciousness, called The World is Safe Place, and the lines went, Yes it happened, but it doesn't have to happen to you. Nothing has to happen to you except wonderful miracles, if that is what you choose now, and that is what you hold as an intention. Then, operate from your heart rather than your head. If there is fear, then it is coming from your head. When you are in love, there is no fear. Stay grounded and open, and be practical. This is important, for in times of old energy stress, and new energy rapid manifestation, you will need to be able to respond to situations as they arise and unfold. Being able to select the appropriate focus and energy for a given situation is a fifth dimensional skill of manifestation. You will not be able to prepare beyond a general outline. Spirit has been training me in these skills for a while, for when I work with large groups of people they ask me to not prepare in advance, but to respond to the needs and flows of energy at a given time and situation. At first this was difficult, because fear comes in, will I be good enough? Will I succeed? And yes, if you are in the flow of divine creative energy, then you cannot fail. Remember that you are safe and protected at all times, and that all is in divine order at all times. Remember that the world is a safe place. If you trust divine order, and not your old habits, you will be fine. For in this fifth dimensional space, you are not the victim of energies out there, even those that come from the higher realms. I have noticed an alarming tendency for light workers to equate the flow of higher dimensional energies to the planet with suffering, and to expect that when there is change. Indeed, that was the pattern when we began the shifts back in 2001. We had to understand that the energy was moving and clearing as we entered in the fifth dimension, and we are there. We have no need to experience suffering, fear or drops back into the third dimension. Whatever comes up now will be our final clearance. And I will say from experience, that you will need to walk through every fear that you still hold, so that you can enter into complete love and fearless, as you see all your fears as illusions. But, beyond this, will be that place where you have no fears at all, and create and manifest from pure love and joy. So, celebrate and know that all is well.